Okay, so continuation ulit ng ating discussion about the approximations and errors. So we have here the additional notes on floating point numbers. Is, uh, floating point numbers. So addition of two floating point numbers, normalization is needed. Multiplication and overflow underflow. Double precision arithmetic is always recommended and the interval between numbers uh, increases as the number numbers grow in magnitude. So we have here aspect, aspects of floating point representation that have significance regarding computer round of errors. There is a limited range of quantities that may be represented leads to overflow error. And number two, there are only finite number of quantities that can be represented within the range. So example is the pi. Okay. So next, the interval between numbers x increases as numbers grow in magnitude. So basahin yun na lang yung definition niya. And we have here the for normalized floating point numbers, this proportionality can be represented. Okay. Can be represented by chopping is employed and rounding is employed. So, pag chopping delta x over delta x is less than or greater than the epsilon natin. Epsilon yan. And delta, surrounding is employed, delta x over x. So, uh, remind, uh, take note na always naka-absolute value. Ganun din sa kabila. So, it's less than or equal to epsilon of over 2, where it's referred to as the machine epsilon. So, yan. Machine epsilon. Okay, ito naman. So, yung formula. So, so where B, ito yung formula natin, machine epsilon, B is the number of base, and T is the number of significant digits. So, ito yan. So, machine epsilon, problem statement. Determine the machine epsilon and verify its effectiveness in characterizing the errors of the numbers of system on the adjacent figure. Assume that the chopping is used. So, ito yung problem natin. Sign number, basis and explain natin kanina, exponent, and then yan. So, 0, 4 na 1. 0, 4 na 1, saka dalawang 0. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0. So, ano value yan? Ano value yan assuming na yung, ano, mantisa natin is, mantisa natin, Yan, mantisa. Sign exponent. Exponent. Oh, mali. Bakit ang sulat ko? Sorry. Sign exponent at saka yung sign. Tama ba? Sign of the number. Okay. So, ano value niyan? Ayan. So, solution. Hypothetical floating point system from example 3.5. So, uh, about 3.5. System from employed values of the base B is given. Ano yung example 3.5 natin? Balikan lang natin. Example 3.5. Yan. Ito na lang. So, so ito, uh, system, uh, yung base natin is 2, and the number of mantisa bits T is equivalent to 3. Therefore, the machine epsilon should be. And so, parang dinayrek substitution lang. An example of maximum error would be a value falling just below the upper bound of the interval. Yan. Next, your turn so, daw. So, determine the machine epsilon. Okay, so, skip na natin yan. Dito na tayo sa arithmetic manipulations of computer numbers. Okay? So, common arithmetic operation. So, we have here addition. So, ito naka-floating point system yan ha. Floating point representation. So, 0 0.1557 times 10 raised to 1 plus 0 0.4381 times 10 raised to negative 1. So, uh, i-addition natin yan. So, 1 minus minus 1 is equivalent to Okay? Saan yan? Yung what? Uh, 0 0.4381 times 10. So, ito, 
transpose uh, trans itong itong at itong term na ito ginawa nating raise to 1 yung exponent niya ipinareho e, natin siya dun sa first term para pwede na natin silang i-addition kaya na kaya na natin ilagay yung operation niya okay so yan addition notice how the last two digits of the second number that were shifted to the right have essentially been lost from the computation. Okay? So, sa arithmetic, uh, remind ko lang ulit, kailangan, itong term na to, kailangan natin ipareho yung exponent niya dito sa una. So, minub, kaya minub natin nagkaroon ng zero sa kabila. Okay? Next, common arithmetic operation, subtraction. So, sign of the subtraction is reverse. So, example, subtract 26.86 from 36.41. So, kailangan muna natin siyang gawing uh, naka-floating point representation bago natin siya isubtract. And dapat magkapareho yung base nila at same time yung exponent. Then, apply the operation. Next, ito kung, sa, yung, kung mapapansin nyo itong sagot dito is merong 0 dyan. 0 0.0. So, kailangan natin i-normalize yan by shifting the decimal. Okay, so one place to write to give 0 0.9550 times 10 raised to 1. Raised to 1 yan, nakasubscript kasi. Okay, and then meron tayong result na 9.550 or 0 0.9550 times 10 raised to 1. Next, we have the common multiplication operation. So multiplication naman, same din lang, pero dito sa multiplication, hindi na natin iti-change yung exponent ni, ni second term. So, apply na lang natin yung usual na ginagawa natin sa multiplication ng uh, numbers natin. Okay, so multiply yung mantisa. So, yan, multiply na. And then, uh, add. Add natin yung exponent. So, meron tayong 2. Then next, uh, if, as in this case, a leading zero is introduced, the result is need to be normalized. So, ito yung sagot natin kanina, kaya kailangan natin i-normalize. So, ito na siya. Naintindihan? So, chinap na. Chinap niya ito. So, magiging final answer depende sa bibigay kong problem. Kapag ni-require ko sa inyong i-chop nyo or i-round off nyo into uh, specific significant figure. Okay? Next. So, sa division, pareho lang sila ng uh, principle ni multiplication, pero of course, yung mga mantisa is i-divide ninyo. And the exponent, is, <coughs> the exponent is pareho na. Adding large number, wag na yan. So, ito yung sit work nyo. Sit work nyo to, uh, upload ko na lang sa platform natin. So, traction cancellation, wag na yan. And then ito, sana gusto kong i-apply sana ito sa inyo sa Excel or sa laboratory natin. Pero, tsaka na. Okay. Okay. So, yun. Yun lang. Ang um, approximations and errors natin. Thank you for watching.